This is a beautiful leg of spring lamb. Beautiful, about three and a half, four, four, five pounds, depending. This is the whole leg, except sometimes it comes with the shank bone here. This is the articulation of the femur, and you have the shank bone on top. So you have to remove it. This has been removed. This is what we call a gigot in French, and this is the classic, classic type of Sunday meal, you know, where you cook your gigot. Taking a little, a little bit of the fat, you'll see that the fat is mostly on the hip part of it. Have a certain layer, and the, the fat of the lamb is very saturated, strong, so you tend to remove it. What I'm doing here, very often we make hole in it like this, and you put a clove of garlic or a piece, a sliver of a clove of garlic, a little bit all over, salt, pepper, maybe a bit of rosemary, thyme, and that's it. You roast it in the oven and cut it right on the bone. However, I want to show you how to bone it out. That boning out is the same thing with a veal, which would be about 50 pounds, and of course with beef, which is even larger, the muscle are the same. So next to this here, you have that piece of meat. I'm going to start opening here and pulling out. As soon as you see the separation of muscle, this is it. This is what we call the top round. You can see that as the muscles separate, you can see fiber, you know, in between. So you just follow those. See, I'm following that here. This is the largest muscle of the leg. Here it is. And this is the top round. What do you do with it? You do a little roast. You can even cut steak out of it. If it were the beef, then you would remove a thin skin that we have on top, which in fact I can do it. Usually you don't do it with the lamb. We call that the blanket. And of course on the, on the beef it's going to be much larger than that. Now you continue boning out. It's really a question of following the bone here. So you have that bone at the end of the femur and you have the articulation of the knees and it goes down. Often you will find those legs of lamb also totally bone out, ready for you to put in the barbecue. I will continue cutting, following the bone on each side, on each side, and this one you can see that this is the shank piece of meat which is very moist, great to do stew with. And now I have my bone here. Very often, as I said, you have the whole thing, including the top round, which will have been here, and that you roll it together and make a roast. Here I have separated the top round. I continue here, you can see where it's separate. You can also see that there is that piece of the knee, I mean the cartilage here, and that's why this one is called the top knuckle that muscle. At the end here, where we add more fat on top of it, this is probably the choicest part of it in some way in terms of tenderness. This is the top sirloin. The top sirloin, you can do a steak out of it. It's part of the hip and that's very, very tender. That's one, as I said, which separate here. There is also in between, like here, some connective tissue, connective meat, and that is used for, you know, to uh, stew or to ground it, to do merguez, for example, which is a, a lamb sausage. But I would use those pieces for. This would be the top knuckle. As you can see here, this is where I had the shank. You can see those fiber. Again, I pull this out. And this is the shank here that you buy. And the shank, as you know, it's very tender, very moist for a stew, not to roast. So this is your shank. And those two pieces of meat left that I have here is the bottom round. 
and the bottom round is divided into two pieces the eye round and the flat in the center of that there is always a large piece of fat here people always used to say you have to remove it because there is a gland in the center and it is true you can see there is a gland in the center but I don't think there is anything wrong with that here that long piece you see narrower is probably the toughest part of the leg and this is the eye round if you remember when you do a roast you have an eye round and that eye round is a long piece of meat like this which is pretty pretty tough and that type of meat is usually never roasted it is used to braise and the other part here of the bottom round is called the flat and if I had to do a, a top round I think I would take that piece over the other remove some of the silver skin and that basically it here is the bottom round so the division of this is the top round the bottom round which is divided between the eye round and the flat top knuckle great roast the shank for a stew and the top sirloin on the hip the most tender part that of course is much larger in the veal but the division is the same